Hello students, in your previous session, you learned about emulsifiers and stabilizers, the types and uses. In today's session, we shall learn about antioxidants, flower improvers and processing aids. Now, let us learn what are antioxidants. Antioxidants are compounds that delay or prevent the deterioration of foods by oxidative mechanisms. The examples for antioxidants are butylated hydroxyanisole, also known as BHA, butylated hydroxytolin, also known as BHT, ascorbic acid, citric acid, etc. These are some of the uses of antioxidants. That is, they prevent flavor and color changes in food. They retard rancidity and deterioration from exposure to oxygen. They also allow foods to conserve their nutritional properties and also their quality levels. In addition to this, they also lengthen the shelf life of food products. Now, let us see what are flower improvers. Flower improvers are a balanced blend of several components which are added to a bread formula to improve the handling and processing qualities of the dough at all stages of the bread making process and to achieve a superior quality of end product. These are some of the examples of flower improvers. Vitamin C, cysteine and chlorine. Now, let us learn about the uses of flower improvers. They are useful in bleaching and dough toughening purposes. They are also used for improved and extended shelf life of the product. Apart from this, they are also used for improved dough development and they also aid in the retention of gas in the dough. Now we move on to processing aids. What are processing aids? Processing aids are substances or additives of natural or synthetic origin which are used in the production of foods. They are commonly used in a wide variety of products including bakery, confectionery, jams, jellies, meat, etc. These are some of the examples of processing aids. Acids, acidity regulators, humectants, gelling agents, anti-foaming agents. Now, let us move on to acidity regulators. Acidity regulators or pH control agents are food additives which are added to change or maintain the pH. The commonly used acidity regulators are citric acid, acetic acid and lactic acid. Now let us see the uses of acidity regulators. Acidity regulators help to preserve the original taste and color of the food. They are also used to enhance the flavor of the food products. Acidity regulators also contribute to the healthiness of the food product by controlling the pH which acts as a guarantee for preventing the development of dangerous microorganisms. Acidity regulators are commonly used in jams, ketchups, pickles, mayonnaise, fruit juices, etc. Next, we move on to humectants. Humectants are hygroscopic substances, which means they bind the moisture that is contained in the food and in addition to this, they absorb moisture from the air. Their hygroscopic property prevents foods from drying out and also stops the sugar contained in confectionery 
from crystallizing. Thus, they have a moisture control effect. Now, let us see the uses of humectants. Humectants helps to keep bread and baked goods fresh for longer period. When we talk about baked goods, we can see that in chocolate scented cakes and biscuits, for example, are sun-faced chocophils, the chocolate in the center is in the moist state, right from the time of manufacture till it reaches the consumer. And that is because of the addition of humectants. Apart from this, humectants are also used in confectionery such as chewing gum, chocolates and cookies so that they don't dry out quickly. Then it is also used to extend the shelf life of meat and fish products and also to slow down the growth of microorganisms. So in today's class we learned about antioxidants, flower improvers, processing aids, their uses and examples. These are some of the references that I had used for today's session. Thank you.